Silver Park? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's probably like maybe five more people probably. We get some chairs, but it's what cable? You can pop it on the street, man. That's the first one on me. Yeah, right. Oh guy. Mm. Mm. All right. I'd like to thank everybody for coming to another Shabbat. Um, there are going to be rules this time. Last time was a disgrace. You know, and that's because of y'all order. And y'all had this way of working to get your attention. So, on my behalf, I apologize. There's a lot of things going on last week. But now we need order. Okay? Our father's about order, not a circus. We turn it right into Christianity. We turn it into all these other denominations, other camps. That's stopping. All right? Now, everybody got a Ten Command machine in front of you, correct? All okay. right. All right, good. All right. When we start the Shabbat, we open prayer to our Father. This is a holy sanctuary. No cursing. That's got to stop. The other camps, they curse people, they teach hate. We do not teach hate here. All right? Slamming babies on the ground, all this stuff, that stuff stops. That's, that's not coming here again. I'm not looking bad in front of heaven. No more. I'm claiming this camp. This was given to me. I did not ask for this. My father gave this to me. I was appointed through this. Okay? And as such, I will take control of it. Right? Now, all the men of Israel rise. Stand up. Everybody, stand up. All right? Before each class, we're going to recite the Ten Commandments that was given to our ancestors so long ago. This is what we got away from. This is why we're in this situation now. Not keeping the commandments. Right? Now everybody, start off. Number one, I am the Lord your God. Repeat. I am the Lord, Lord your God. God. Who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall have no other gods before me. Number two, you shall not make yourselves any carved images or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them nor serve them. Right. Number three, you should not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless who takes his name in vain. Now speak up when you say this. You should not, you should not, not take the name of the Lord your God in vain, for the Lord will not hold his guiltless who Number four, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall you labor to do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. It is, it, in it, you shall do no work, you, nor your sons, nor your daughters, nor your male servants, nor your female servants, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Rest the seventh day. Therefore, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day. Right. Number five. Honor your father and your mother <clears throat> that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Honor your father, 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 father and your mother that your days you may long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Right. Number six. Honor your father and your mother. Number six. You should not murder. You should not murder. You should not murder. Seven, you should not commit adultery. You should not commit adultery. Eight, you should not steal. You should not steal. Nine, you should not bear a witness against your neighbor. 
You shall not pay a false witness against your neighbor. Ten, you shall not cover your neighbor's house. You shall not cover your neighbor's wife, nor his male servant, nor his female servant, nor his ox, nor his donkey, nor anything that is in your neighbor's. You shall not cover your neighbor's house. You shall not cover your wife's house. You shall not cover your neighbor's house. You shall not cover your neighbor's house. All right, praise you God. Yeah. Let's open up in the Lord word of prayer. All right, everybody face the east. Almighty Father, we humbly approach you today. We thank you for another Shabbat, allowing all of us to make it here. We know some of us, Father, are still running late, and the brothers and sisters that are sick, please, Father, watch over them and protect them. We know we fall short of the glory, Father, every day that we wake up. And we please, we humbly ask for your forgiveness. We love you, Father, and we know that you love us. To allow us to congregate on your holy day. Thank you again. In the name of your son, you were shy. So be it. So be it. Right. <clears throat> again, welcome. Welcome. I never gave you guys my Hebrew name. My name is Yaquav. Yezrael. Right? Shalom. 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 Right. The rule sheet that's in front of you. We're going to go over that first before we start today's lesson. Okay? Y'all want to go? Y'all want to go? All right. Rule one, the sanctuary. No cursing in the sanctuary. There's no reason to have a foul mouth when you're serving y'all. I don't care how emotional you get. It's not about emotion. It's not about flesh. It's not about being carnal-minded. Somebody, first Peter's, um... Chapter 2, verse 1. Mm -hmm. All right, let's, let's, uh, we'll let uh, Sister McGee read what she wants to do. 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 1. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and all gall, mm -hmm. and hypocris uh, hypocrisy, uh -oh. hypocrisy. hypocrisy. Yeah, okay. all right, and envy and all evil speaking, and all evil speaking, so all guile, malice, mm -hmm. all that stuff needs to be let go when you come to the holy sanctuary. This is a holy day, okay, and by even if it's not a holy day. As Israelites, oh, you're cleaving to Israel. You representing Yah. Okay? No matter where you go, you will represent Him. This is not about yourself no more. He called you. He called all of us that's in there. Right? Number two, it says, all must be on one accord. Now, yes, the camp started fast. A lot of people started coming. This is still not an excuse. We still need war. We had a brother last week. He did his best. But I know Yah put something on his heart to do that. And a lot of us got in our flesh. I mean, a lot of us. It was a bloodbath last week. That's not going to happen to me. I all need to be on one accord. That means if you have a question, raise your hand and wait till the speaker calls you, whoever's speaking that day. That's so we don't have all a bunch of, you know, this person over here, this person over here, we're getting away from the topic. Okay? All must be on one accord. Different doctrines. There'll be other visitors that's coming in. There are a lot of issues like camps. A lot of them have their own ways of believing. We ask that they hold their questions to after. Because a lot of stuff they don't agree with. Okay? Everybody turn to Mark uh, chapter 3, verse 25. divided against itself, that house cannot stand. The house cannot stand if you be divided. Hmm. That's self-explanatory. Now think about it. Satan's children know better. But they know they can't be divided. And that's why they're laughing at Israel right now. That's why so many camps with different doctrines. Satan and his children, they're together. You must believe that. Think about it. My brother right here, last week he even said he's an artist. He see the patterns that the churches and stuff have. 
Satan and his children are together. If we represent Yah, the Most High, why we ain't together? Why we got different doctrines? That's got to stop. We got to pull this together. Enough is enough. All right? Number, um, let's go down. Next one. You must get water baptized. Everybody turn to Matthew chapter 28, 19. And there are a lot of scriptures. I put down a few scriptures, but that's a whole nother lesson we already did. We ask anybody that's tuning in to, you know, go back over the lesson we did about water baptism. You know, there's a lot of people that don't believe in it, but Christ himself was baptized. John the Baptist was baptized. And it goes again with being on one accord and being in order. That's Matthew chapter 28, 19. I'll read that. It says, Go ye therefore, everyone has it. I'll pray, I'll pray. Yes. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. See, it's saying baptized. All nations. Next one, Luke chapter 16, verse 15 through 16. That's Luke 16, 15 through 16. All commandments, right? All the commandments, not a few that you feel good with, right? All three. Um, turn to St. John 14 15. said do, that's what you do. That's what water baptism, that's what everything, love, kindness, you have, to, you have to preach with peace. Yes, the truth is not always pretty. It's not meant to be pretty. It's going to cut a lot of people. We've always been lied to, all of us. Right? Next one. Keep the Sabbath day holy. That's Exodus 28. Ten Commandments that we read today. It says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Nine, it says, six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. It says, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor thy servant, nor thy man, maid servant, 
nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Keep the Sabbath day holy. That goes back with number one, with no cursing in the sanctuary. All right, it's a holy day. That will be today's topic that we're going to go over. Next rule, it says, our objective is to seek Yahuwah, our Father, in heaven. That's Jeremiah chapter 29, 13. Seek me and find me when you shall seek for me, when you shall search for me with all your heart. And I will be found of you, says Yahuwah. And I will turn away your captivity and I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, says Yahuwah. And I will bring you again into the place whence I caused you to be carried away captive. Our objective is to wake up Israel. This is what we do. The only way we're going to get out of this captivity is to wake up our brothers and sisters. Okay? Uh, 2 Chronicles 7.14 Second Chronicles 7 and 14, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, mm -hmm. then would I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Mm -hmm. Again, that verse is self-explanatory. It's not about blaming somebody else. What did our father say do? Seek my face and turn from your wicked ways. Let's not blame somebody else for, for your problems. He says, seek me, turn from your wicked ways. That's not going into another wicked way and teaching hate. You see what I'm saying? He says, and then will I hear from heaven and will forgive your sins, forgive their sins. That means your sins. And I will heal their land. The objective is to get this done so we can go home. That's what it's about. We have no place in this land. All right? Um, the next one it says put in the kingdom first a lot of us forget about that mm -hmm. we got to put the kingdom first everybody turn to Matthew 6 chapter 6 33 
this is Matthew 6, chapter 6, verse 33. Mm -hmm. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Mm -hmm. Our Father knows it's going to be rough. He knows it's going to be rough in his captivity. You see what I'm saying? He says, seek the kingdom first, and I'm going to add all this stuff to you. I mean, food, water, the things that you need. But he said, still seek me. He know you need this stuff. Right. Um, the next one, waking up our brothers and sisters. That's St. John 15, 18. St. John 15, 18. St. John 15, 18. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, Herein is my Father glorified. Uh, 15, 18. 15, 18. Um, John, St. John. Um, 15, 18. Yeah, St. John. Yeah. Oh, okay. 18. Yeah. Okay, I thought it said 18. <laughs> Sorry. They do it. Okay. If the world, yeah, oh, I'm, eight, I'm sorry. I said 18. Uh, 15, 8. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was, like, yeah, I was looking at it myself like, wow, that don't make sense. Okay. <laughs> okay. Another one too, but, um, Herein is my Father glorified that ye may bear fruit, so ye shall be my disciples. Mm -hmm. We have to bear fruit. I mean, we have to also go out and make disciples. We've gotten this knowledge now. You must go out and help your brothers and sisters out. Okay? Um, Spread the word. Spread the word to Israel. Break up Israelites. Correct. All right. Next one. Study to show yourself approved. Study to show yourself approved to God. Okay. That's Second Timothy two fifteen. That's towards the back. Chapter 2, 15. Okay. And then second 10. acceptable to the most high. You see, we can all turn on a video, we can all watch TV and say, oh, I learned something. But then when you go out and preach the gospel, are you preaching the true gospel? So think about it, all of us being been falsely doing that. Until you study, show yourself, prove means you get in his word. You start searching for your father. Now you know what to do. He'll let himself be found like we just read earlier. Seek him. And you go out and do what you need to do. All right? These are the rules of our camp. No cursing in the sanctuary. Put the kingdom first. Seek your father. Don't lose sight of that. All right? Keep the commandments at all times. Do your best. That's why all these other churches are teaching such false doctrines because they're going by what somebody else said mm -hmm. rather than verifying in the Bible. That's right. Word. That's right. Very true. All right? So, with that being said, now we're going to open up today's class. All right? This class is about the Sabbath, like we just read right down here, verse 4 of the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. All right? I'll read it again to open up. It says, remember the Sabbath day. Just keep it holy. Six days shall you labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it you shall do no work, you nor your son nor your daughter, nor your male servant nor your female servant, nor your cattle, nor your stranger who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them, and the rest seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. Okay? Hallowed it. Everybody knows the word hallowed means. Set apart. It's set apart. Holy. Okay? Right. Um, 
the churches. The churches love Paul. They love Paul's right. They twist Paul to their own destruction. They'll say that the Sabbath day was done away with and that everybody worships on Sunday. That's why when you wake up on Sunday, it's quiet, ain't it? It's everybody in the church. You see what I'm saying? But when did the Sabbath day get done away with? No. It never did. All right? Let's turn to... Let's go to um, Acts. Let's start this off in Acts. This is what most... Denominations will tell you that the Sabbath day is done with. Wait a bit. Let's go to Acts chapter 20 first. Mm -hmm. Verses 7. disciples came together to break bread, Paul preached unto them, ready to depart on tomorrow, and continue his speech until midnight. Right. That was Acts 27, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. See the key word there in verse 7? It says to break bread. That's what it did, right? Mm -hmm. That's Acts 27. It says upon the first day of the week, when the disciples came together to break bread, Paul preached unto them, ready to depart on the morrow and continue to preach and to speech until, excuse me, speak until midnight. Now, verses 8, so keep going. Sorry about that. And there were many lights in the upper chamber where, there were, where they were gathered together. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And there sat in a window a certain young man named... He tight. How you pronounce that? <laughs> uh huh. Being fallen into a deep sleep, and as Paul was long preaching, he sunk down with sleep and fell down from the third loft and was taken up dead. Mm -hmm. All right. Now I want you to hold that thought right there. Okay. Everybody, turn over to First Corinthians. Okay. First Corinthians sixteen and two. 16. Okay, uh, hmm? I was just going to add something. Uh, any idea why he stopped at midnight? Oh, yeah, we're going to get to that. Oh, yeah. Bring it back to it. I know, I know where you're going. We're going to come back to that. First mm -hmm. Corinthians 16, too? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. 16. Mm -hmm. We we'll start at 1 and we'll start at verse 1 and read the 2. Mm -hmm. Actually, all the way one through four. We're gonna take our time to go through it. I'm gonna break it down too. All right. That's uh, 1 Corinthians 16. Start at verse one, all the way to verse four. Um, Brother Brandon. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 16. Mm -hmm. Now concerning the collection for the saints, mm -hmm. as I have given order to the churches of Galatea, mm -hmm. even so do ye. Upon the first day of the week. Upon the first day of the week. Mm -hmm. Let every one of you lay by him in the store as of as Yah have proposed him that there be no gathering when I come. Mm -hmm. And when I come, whomsoever ye shall approve by your letters, them will I send to bring your liberty unto Jerusalem. And with and if it be met, I go also, there shall go with me. Mm -hmm. Now see what Paul said in verse 2? Upon the first day of the week. Don't Christians tell y'all that? The first day of the week? What's the first day of the week? Sunday, Sunday. Sunday right? Check this out. Jacob, get the Ten Commandments. Start at verse 4. What did it say? Go ahead and read. Start at verse 4. Um, uh, number four, remember the Sabbath. 
keep the whole time. Verse 4, you say on Korean Commandments chapter... No, no, I'm sorry, on the Ten Commandments sheet. Oh, okay. You're writing the Ten Commandments sheet. All right, one more all right. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor mm -hmm. and do all your work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath day, mm -hmm. the Sabbath of the Lord your God. And it you should do not do um, do no work and mm -hmm. and you not your son nor your daughter and nor your male servant mm -hmm. nor your female servant nor your cattle nor your stranger who is within your gates. For in the six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is, is in them, and rested the seventh day. Rested the seventh day. Therefore mm -hmm. the Lord blessed the seventh day and you know, hallowed it. Hallowed it. So it says, remember the Sabbath day. Keep it holy. Six days shall you work. So basically six days you have all your time to do, you know, your extra activities, whatever, you know, making your money and everything. It said, but on the um, seventh day, that's when he took his rest. That was the Sabbath day. Now, what did Paul say? The first day of the week, right? First day of the week. He didn't say, read it again, brother. First Corinthians. Now, concerning the, concerning the collection for the saints, as I have given order to the churches of Galatea, even so do ye, upon the first day of the week, let every one you lay by the by the by him in store as Yah hath proposed him. There be no gathering when I come, and when I come, whomsoever ye shall approve by your letters, then will I send to bring your liberty unto Jerusalem. And if it be met, then I go also. They shall go with me. Mm -hmm. Again, first day of the week. The seventh day, that's the holy day, right? Mm -hmm. the holy day is holy convocation. Holy convocation is what you gather, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we're doing. We're gathering together. Paul said, don't gather together. So how did the church get that and turn that into the, the holy day? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got something, sis? <sighs> yeah. Go ahead, bring it up. Um, first Corinthians chapter 2, when it said, Upon the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by his in to him in store mm -hmm. as God has prospered them. Mm -hmm. So that means you could gather anything that you need to purchase, to mm -hmm. buy, or whatever. Whatever it may be, it might not have to be anything to buy, but it said as he prospers you. So that means that if I'm working on land, if I'm working in that Pepsi or whatever, then I can gather what, you know, everything I need to get from that mm -hmm. on that first day. So that's starting off saying mm -hmm. that work them days, but on the seventh day. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Um point you want to bring out. Back to uh oh you forgot. Yeah, yeah midnight. <laughs> oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, the yeah. Bible says nothing good happens after midnight. Mm -hmm. So I assume that's why he chose that hour to stop. Well actually he was preaching on that day. Um and what happened? Well let's read it. Let's everybody go back to that um, to that chapter. That was uh, uh, Acts twenty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's uh read that one down. Get that. Acts 20 and uh, verse 7. Let's get started. Well, that was uh, 7 through 9, right? What's that? That was verse 7 through 9. Verse 7, mm hmm. There's actually, um, we're going to go all the way to 12. Go all the way to 12? Mm hmm. All right. Want to um, Yeah, go ahead. Acts 20, uh, verses 7 through 12. And upon the first day of the week, when the disciples came to break bread, Paul preached unto them, ready to depart on the morrow, and continued his speech until midnight. And there were many lights in the upper chamber, where they were gathered together. And they sat in the window a certain young man named Etychus, being fallen into a deep sleep. And as Paul was long preaching, he sunk down with sleep and fell down from the third loft and was taken up dead. Mm -hmm. Keep going. And Paul went down and fell on him and embracing him today. Trouble not you, trouble not yourselves, for his life is in him. When there, when therefore was came up again and 
had broken bread and eaten and talking a long while, even till break of day. So he, depart so he departed, and they brought the young man alive and were not a little confronted. Mm -hmm. Right. And this one right here shows Paul resurrecting someone. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. But Paul was preaching all night. See? Um, There's a little part I had wanted to bring out with that, but I don't want to deviate from the um, from the lesson. Um, let's turn all the way back in time. Everybody go to Genesis 1. We're going all the way back in time. All right? And again, this lesson is actually about the Sabbath. Okay? So... Understand when the holy days start, okay, and when the st when things were created, okay. Go ahead. Genesis chapter one verse one. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness He called it night. Mm -hmm. In the evening and the morning. Or the first day. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Even in the morning, that was the first day. Okay? That was day one. That's what the father did. Mm -hmm. Okay? Brother Brandon, go ahead. And and Yah said, Let there be ferment in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Mm -hmm. And Yah made the ferment and divided the, the waters which were under the ferment from the waters which were above the firmament, and it was so. And Yah called the firmament heaven. Mm -hmm. And the evening and the morning were the second day. Second day. Our Father showing you step one, mm -hmm. and then step two. Okay. Keep going, brother. And God and Yah said, "Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together unto the place, and let the dry lands appear." And it was so, and Yah called the dry lands earth, mm -hmm. and the gathered to get and gathered together of the, the waters called his seeds, and Yah saw it was good, mm -hmm. and Yah saw, and Yah said, Let the earth be forth grass, the herbs yielding seeds, and the fruit trees yielding fruit after his kind, mm -hmm. whose seed it whose seed is in itself upon the earth and it was so mm -hmm. and earth brought forth grass and herb and yielding seed after he his kind and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself after his kind mm -hmm. and y'all saw that it was good mm -hmm. and even in the evening and the mornings were the third day the third day that's day three okay Brother, who you have? Take it out from the whole sanctuary, bro. Hey. And Yah said. Wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Bro, mm -hmm. start on um, wherever he left off. Verse 14. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're on day three now. 14. Mm -hmm. Yeah, verse 14. Mm -hmm. Okay, it says, and God said. <clears throat> and God said, let there be light in the firmament. Firmament. Mm -hmm. uh, of the heaven to divide the day from the night. Let there be them for signs uh, mm -hmm. and for the seasons and for the days and for years. For years. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Let there be, I mean, uh, I'm sorry. They're good. You um, time. Let them be lights and the firmament. Uh, of the heavens to give light upon the earth, and it was so. Mm -hmm. 
and God made two great two great lights in the earth to rule day and lesser light to rule the night and he made the stars also mm -hmm. oh, and, yep. go ahead yeah, yeah. Okay. and God set set them in firmament of the heavens <clears throat> to give light upon the earth and to rule over the night I mean to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness God saw it was good and in the evening and the morning of the fourth day mm -hmm. God said let there be waters to bring abundantly the moving creatures that have life and fowl that may fly above the earth and open the firmament of the heavens. heavens right there. All right, verse 19. This is day four, okay, when he's making all this stuff. Mm -hmm. This is day four with the creatures, you know, and all the um, flying creatures of the heavens, the earth, right? You know, verse 21. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth which the water brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. This is day five now, when he's making all this. All right? Verse 24. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping things and the beasts of the earth after his kind and it was so and God made the beasts of the earth after his kind and cattle after their kind and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind and God saw that it was good and God said let us make man in our image after our own after our likeness and let them be dominant over the fish of the sea over the fowl of the air over the cattle and over the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created him, created man in his image, and the image of God created he him, male and female, he created them. And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful, multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I given you every herb bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth and every tree in which the fruit of the tree yielding seed to you it shall be for me. And to every beast of the earth and to every fowl of the air and to everything that creepeth upon the earth wherein there is life I have given every green herb for me. And it was so and God saw everything that he had made. And behold it was very good and the evening and morning were the sixth day. So Reading all that, he created the animals, he created man, he created the trees, you know, he created all the stuff that we needed to survive. He did all this and he worked in six days. Correct? All right? This is day six. <clears throat> Chapter two is the first Sabbath. Okay? Um, Sister Nagy. Um, Genesis chapter two. Mm -hmm. Thus the heaven and the earth was finished, and all the hosts of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work, which he created, he made. Mm -hmm. And Yah blessed the se seventh day and sanctified it, because that is, that in it, he has rested for all his work, which Yah created and made. Right there. Mm -hmm. Which he created and made. So he said, God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it. Sanctified. Mm -hmm. The word sanctified means what? Set apart. Correct? He set apart that day because that is it. In it, he had rest from all his work. So our father took a rest on that day. I don't mean that God was actually tired, physically tired, but he took a rest on that day. You see what I'm saying? For all his work which God created in me. That was the first Sabbath. All right? Let's all turn to let's see where we at now. Exodus. Everybody turn to Exodus chapter 16, 22. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Exodus 
Exodus uh, 16, uh, it's going to be 22 through 23. And this is a story, um, everybody's familiar with the story with manna, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see, Brother uh, Brandon. Okay. And it came to pass mm -hmm. that on the sixth day they gathered twice as much bread to owners from one man. And all the bread, I mean, and all the rulers of the congregation came and told Moses. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord hath said to, uh, tomorrow is the rest of the holy Sabbath unto, the, unto Yah. Bake that which ye will bake today, and see it that he that ye will see it, mm -hmm. and that which remaineth overlay lay up for lay up for to be kept until the morning, and they laid it up until the morning, and Moses bade, and it did not sink, neither was there any more therein. Mm -hmm. And Moses said, "Eat that today, for today is the Sabbath unto the Lord, unto Yah. Today ye shall not find it in the fields. Six day ye shall gather it, but on the seventh, which it is the Sabbath in it, there shall be none. And it came to pass that there there went out some of the people on the Sabbath day, on the seventh day." For to gather, and they find none. Mm -hmm. And the and the Lord and Yah said unto Moses, How long refute ye to keep my commandments and my law? See for that the Lord hath given the Sabbath, therefore he given you the sixth day, the bread for two for two days. Abide ye every man in his place, let no man go out of his place. On the seventh day, go, go. The people rested on the Sabbath, mm -hmm. and that on the seventh day, <clears throat> and the house of Israel called out the name therefore manna, mm -hmm. and it was like corona seed, mm -hmm. white, and it taste of it was like wafers made with honey. Mm -hmm. And Moses said, "This is the thing which the Lord commanded." Fill an over of it to keep kept or to be kept from your for your generation, mm -hmm. that they may see the bread wherewith I have fed you in the wilderness when I brought out the fourth from the land of Egypt. Right there. All right. Now ask yourself something. Why is he telling Moses this about the seventh day? What's so special about Moses? See what I'm saying? What what significance does this have to do with Genesis? All right. Everybody turn to Exodus uh, 31, um, verse 13. Mm -hmm. We're going to read Exodus chapter 31, um, starting at verse uh, 13. Actually, start at verse 12, I'm sorry. Verses 12, we're going to read all the way down until verses 8, 18. to Moses saying speak thou also unto the children of Israel saying verily my Sabbath ye shall keep for it is a sign between me and you see that word sign what do signs do they point to something don't they sure. right sign never forget that word that's also in um, some of the curses that's in Deuteronomy okay it says verily my Sabbath ye shall keep for it is a sign between me and you therefore <laughs> Throughout your generations, throughout your generations, that means from your children's children, that ye may know that I am Yahuwah that does sanctify you, means separate you, do sanctify you. Ye shall keep the Sabbath, therefore, for it is a it is holy unto you. It says, Everyone that defileth it shall surely be put to death, for whosoever does any work therein, 
that soul shall be cut off from amongst his people. Verse 15, six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest. It says, holy to Yahuwah. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. He's telling you again to make sure that stick in the children of Israel's head because they are stiff-necked. They hear just like brass. They're hard-headed. All right? 16. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for perpetual covenant. What does perpetual mean? Forever. Hmm? Perpetual. Perpetual. Continuous. Continuous. Never ending. Okay? Forever, never ending, never changing. He says for a perpetual covenant. Covenant means contract. Okay? 17. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. Remember that word, brothers and sisters. Forever. That don't end. That don't stop. That's to this date. From way back then to now. Forever. Okay? It says, for in six days, Yahuwah made heaven and earth. And on the seventh day, he rested and was refreshed. Okay, so he's telling us that now. I'm giving you that as a sign between me and you for all your generations forever. The seventh day. That's the day we rest. That's what today. The seventh day, is it not? Sunday is the first day. That's not the Sabbath. The Sabbath is the seventh day. He understands when the land of my captivity, that it's going to be hard. Yep. If I may add, I was taught in church that the first day. One Sunday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We all. 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 But got me a couple of hours. Yeah, you made it. You made it. Oh, yeah, yeah. All praise. All praise. All praise. Right. Um, day subject, Sabbath. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's what we on. We're teaching Sabbath. Why it's holy and why we keep it. Um, we was on Exodus uh, chapter 31. Um, it was on 13 through 17. Exodus chapter 1. Mm -hmm. chapter, uh, chapter 31. All right. I read it. I hope that's refreshing. Um, 13, it says, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily, my Sabbath you shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am Yahuwah that does sanctify you. Ye shall keep the Sabbath therefore, for it is a whole it is holy unto you. Everyone that defileth it shall surely be put to death, for whosoever does any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from amongst his people. Six days may work be done, but in the seventh it is the Sabbath of rest, holy to Yahuwah. Whoever does any work on the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. Who, whatsoever, whatsoever the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. For in the six days you have made the heavens and the earth, and the seventh day he rest and was refreshed. Okay? That's what our Father wants us to do. We have to keep that commandment. I don't care how you feel. I don't care your emotions. Again, this is not about carnal mind. We follow commandments. That was given to us. Okay? And again, anybody that's cleaving to us, you must keep this too. Eventually, sooner or later, the whole planet going to be on this. All right? Um, everybody turn to Deuteronomy chapter 5, um, 12 through 15. That's Deuteronomy chapter 5. chapter because again there's um I like a second witness. I will try to have a second witness to back up yes. the same point. Yes. See? Um see you got okay. mm -hmm. Deuteronomy five twelve. Mm -hmm. Keep the seventh day to sanctify it as the Lord your God hath commanded thee. Six days thou shalt labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. Of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy sons, nor thy daughter, nor thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, 
nor the ox, nor the ass, nor any of thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates, that thy manservant and thy maidservant may rest as well as thou. And remember that thou was a servant in the land of Egypt, and that the Lord thy God brought thee out thence through a mighty hand by a stretch out arm. Therefore, the Lord thy God commanded thee in, I mean, to keep the Sabbath day holy. Right. Now see what it says, that the stranger within your gates, thy servants, everybody getting the rest. Your cattle, I mean your sheep, your cows, whatever you have, they get the rest too. You can't put them to work and you take that day off, everybody going to rest. You have to keep the commandments. And again, I went here again because Israel, we are stiff-necked people. We are hard-headed. We don't like to learn our lesson. Okay? That's why I keep going over. Get a second witness to back it up. That's why our Father backs it up in um, uh, what was that? Exodus 31. When he repeats it twice, that's to show you that you will learn. All right? Now, again, let's show some of the stiff-neckedness. Let's go to Numbers 15, chapter 15, 32 through 36. Mm-hmm. Is that 32? Um, no, uh, 15. Numbers chapter 15, uh, verses 32 through 36. It's our numbers 15. Mm -hmm. Numbers chapter 15. Yep. And, um, um, verses 32 through 36. children of Israel were in the wilderness, mm -hmm. they found a man that gathered sticks upon the Sabbath day. Right there. Hard headedness. Already. Keep going. And they that found him gathering sticks brought him to Moses and Aaron and upon and unto all the congregation and they put him in war mm -hmm. because it was not declared that what should be done to him. And, the, and Yahuwah said unto Moses the man shall the man shall be surely put to death. Mm -hmm. All these congregations shall stone him with stones without the camp. Mm -hmm. And all the congregation brought him unto the camp and stoned him with stones, and he died as, as Yahuwah commanded Moses. Mm -hmm. See, they kept the commandments. You see, he still got put to death because he was out there gathering sticks. Why you just can't do what you told Israel? You know, why are we here? Because we hard-headed. That's why we here. All he had to do was rest. What's so hard about putting your feet up? You know? Or what is it, holy convocation? You come together. You learn. That's what sanctified. We sanctify. We put apart. That's what you're supposed to do. Learn. Rest. Ease your mind. If our Father can do it with all the power he got, we can do it too. He said we can do it. Okay? Can I say something real quick? Yeah, go ahead, man. Um... Like you were saying about set, being set apart, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you look at it, this is this is the one thing that actually set us apart from all other nations. Mm -hmm. It's because we actually under the Sabbath, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So that's something that, that I always really looked at, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yep. Because, um, like I said, it was a perpetual covenant or a sign between us and him. Between us and God. Y'all ever wonder why they changed it to Sunday? We don't go into it too much in this class because that's a whole other class I want to do. That's Sunday worship, mm -hmm. you see? Now they got you, they're pulling you away from your father. Now you're doing something else we told you don't do. You see? And all this don't work on the Sabbath. So technically, all this should be dated. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Make you think, don't you? Just, you just stepped on something, man. Hmm. So, um, Bring it up. I was just about to say, you know, with what they just did to this man here, they mm -hmm. just stoned him. And it says that uh, if, you, if you do any work on Sabbath, you should be put to death. Mm -hmm. So therefore, shouldn't we all be Kill one, one, one another. Oh, well. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. no, I'm <laughs> I got you. I walk right after. Mm -hmm. But in, in reality, y'all was dead. Mm -hmm. Because you were not serving y'all. Right. You know, his commandments. Yeah, Keeping right. the seven. Mm -hmm. Remember where we came from. We was just walking dead. Yeah, that's right. So we all was Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm still kind of stuck with the scripture. What do you mean by like just work, like just going to work hard? Like, well, what he's meaning by on the Sabbath, he said, no work shall you do. So, again, looking at the chart, six days shall you work, 
But on the seventh day, you set that apart for him. So you do all your activities on...